Okay, so now we will be talking or we will be discussing about the mean for group data. So you, we are required to group data, especially, uh, especially if the data or the number of data is more than a 30. So the way to group the da uh, data is to um, group them using a uh, or to present them in a frequency distribution table. So we, you could have the interval. The, we have the real, the integral, the frequency, and the midpoint for this one. So we will need to get the values for that. So the first thing to do in uh, in getting the mean of the data is to first group them, to present them in, uh, in a frequency distribution table. So if we have now the... Um, the group data for example if you are already uh, if you manage to group to group the data so the the formula for that if our interval is one so so meaning the the uh, the space or the value between the the intervals is one so we could use the formula x bar is equal to summation of f x over n okay wherein our f here is our frequency and our x is this one our x is the data okay now if it is group so the interval is more than one just write that one. So the formula will be our mean is equal to the summation of the frequency times the midpoint over n. Okay, so that is the formula for it, for the mean if the interval is more than one so our mo here is the midpoint of the interval so first let's have an example if our interval is equal to one so for example we have already done the frequency distribution table so we have here let's just write a table so x this will be our f this will be our f of x okay so we have the data so let's just write this one here so we have 12 10 10 9 9 8 8 7 7 7 6 6 6 so 5, 6, then we have 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, uh, 4, 3, 2, uh, this is 3, 2, 2, then we have 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 6 so this will be 31 so we have 31 um data given so this uh, i just wrote the data in um in descending order but usually they are given randomly or they are arranged randomly so just to make this video short so i just i just presented the data in a descending order so we just write here the value of each one so i believe we will, this is 11 okay. this will be 11 so as you can see the interval between the data is one so 12 11 so that is one so we could write this one we could write our data here so we have 12 for the first one then we have 11 we just use another color pen so that it will be much clearer so we have 12 this will be 11 
Now this will be 10, I believe. And we have 9. And we have 8, 7. I believe it is the all of the numbers are represented. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's move. So 0. Okay, now we will count the frequency. So how many 12? So there is only one 12. So this will be 1. 11 is only 1. So this will be 1. Then 10. So how many 10? So this is, will be 1 also. 9. So 1, 2. So there are 2 9s. So then we have 8. Another 2. Then we have 7. So 1, 2, 3. So we have 3, 7. Then we have 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5. 6. Then 1, 2, 3. So 3, 5. So 3. So I almost. Um, okay, then 4. So 1, 2, 3. So we have 3, 4. Then 3, 1, 2. So 2. Then 2, 1, 2, 3. So 3. 2, 1, 1, 2. So this is 2. And for 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have 0. Okay. Now we will go to getting the sum. Okay. So the sum of our frequency. So the summation of the frequency is equal to 31. Or we could have this one as our n. It's 31. So let's just check first if we... If it is really 31. So this is one way of checking if you have um, really um, give each of the data their correct frequency. So by getting the sum of the table. Okay, so we have we have 3, 1, so that is 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to okay so we have a little bit of uh, confusion this one this will be 31 so let's just recheck so we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 so this one is 3 not 0 okay so plus 2 plus 3 i believe we have 31 so we have now 30 one. So this is not 3. Uh, this is not 0 but that is 3. So we have now F times X. Okay, so let's just move here. So F times X. We have 12 times 1. So our F here is 1. Then we will multiply it with the X. So it is 12. So 1 times 12. This will be 12. And you have uh, 1 times 11. So that will be 11. 1 times 10, that will be 10. 2 times 9, this will be 18. Then we have 2 times 8, this will be 16. 7 times 3, this will be 21. Six, uh, 5 times 6, this will be 30. 3 times 5, that will be 15. 4 times 3, this will be 12. 2 times 3, this will be 6. 3 times 2, this is 6. 1, uh, 2 times 1, this will be 2. And 0 times 3, or 3 times 0, this will be 0. Okay, and we will get the sum. So it's just how do I Summation of fx. Okay, so let's now have our trusty calculator. Okay, so we have 
12 plus 11 plus 10 plus 18 plus 16 plus 21 plus 30 uh, plus 15 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 and we have 100 59 okay so we have 159 for our summation of fx so our summation of fx is 159 so in solving the mean so we have our mean is equal to the summation of fx so this is for interval 1 over n so our n also is this one so this is also equal to n the summation of f so we could derive our formula as summation of fx over summation of f but don't you ever dare to cancel out the f here so that that is not uh, mathematically correct okay so we have x bar or the mean so our summation of fx is 159 then our n is 31 so we have now again call our calculator so we have already 159 so just already divide that one by 31 and our mean is equal to 5.13 so our mean is 5.13 so this is now the answer so on the next video we will be um, will be discussing about the group data in which the interval is more than one. So thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying.